Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So for this video, we have a diamond painting post review. So yes, guys, I finished my first diamond painting from Muni Maid. All right, let's get into it. So I did update my log book, my diamond painting log book. You can find these in my Etsy shop and I will link it down below. So we are here. This is Why Always the Cows by Muni May. It's legally licensed from Cute But Weird. It is a 40 by 40 centimeter or 15.7 by 15.7 inches. This is a full diamond painting, 47 colors, 1AB, two glow in the dark drills. I gotta add that in there. It was $45, it's a round. I ordered this diamond painting on August 3rd and received it August 25th. I started it on September 2nd and finished it on September 9th. So this diamond painting was pretty quick for me to work up. And then I just put that I upgraded to the premium toolkit, which included a Muni Maid tray. And I also added the little bag. So here's my entry here. This is diamond painting number 23 for the year. And let's go to the table of contents. Well, now I've completed uh, two more diamond paintings after this but this is diamond painting number 142 overall so yes guys i've only completed 25 diamond paintings for this year so far i thought i was gonna get much more done but i didn't but that's neither here nor there let's get back to this cutie so i absolutely love this diamond painting i loved working on it it was quick to work up like i said i love that it was color blocking I love color blocking. It was color blocking, but also some areas of light confetti. So with diamond paintings like that, you can complete them relatively quickly. Um, there wasn't like tons of detail needed in this painting. So the color blocking is just fine for it. This diamond painting was true to size and the drill field was clear. I'll also link the unboxing down below so you guys can check that out as well. This diamond painting had one AB and then two glow-in-the-dark drills. I will show you guys the drills shortly. The drills were good quality as well. I just really enjoyed working on this. My favorite area of the canvas, at first it was a cute little cow, but after I completed it, I'm like, it's the glow-in-the-dark drills. So let me get you in closer. So you had two glow-in-the-dark drills. They were both green. One was like a lime green and the other was like a darker green. So this green here surrounding the opening to the UFO is that darker green here. That's a glow in the dark. And then the specks of glow in the dark at the bottom are with the lighter ones. So I love the glow in the dark areas. I think it looks like the uh, UFO opening up and then the light shining and abducting that cow. So I love it. The cow is pretty cute too. I love, I love everything about it. Love it, love it, love it. Love the background colors and everything. It was lots of blues, but it was different color blues, so you were changing your blues out, you know? But still had that color blocking element to it, so I loved it. So the AB was that white AB. 5200. So you see it's some here, and then in the stars, you have that white AB as well. Look at those drills. I love this diamond painting. Love it, love it, love it. Normally when I finish my diamond paintings, I straighten all the drills out and then I roll it after. But I didn't do that one for this one yet. When I say I roll it, I mean I roll it with one of these just to catch any drills that may be sticking up. And then I roll the actual painting up and put it into an art tube. I haven't done that yet for this one, rolled out the drills and everything. But I think it came out really, really cute. The canvas is that soft back canvas with the scallop edges. It was good quality, no issues there. I didn't have any trouble with the stickiness of the canvas. Um, pretty good. I'm going to put a side-by-side -side comparison on the screen so you can see how this diamond painted was painted versus how it's rendered. I think it is rendered pretty closely to the image here. On this diamond painting, you do have two legends, one on either side, some branding at the top, and then um, at the bottom you have the legally licensing from Cute But Weird and then the dimensions. And then Cute But Weird is on Instagram. I started following and nice little cutesy little artwork. I love it. 
there is a couple images that I saw that I'm like, oh, I need this as a diamond painting, definitely. So hopefully we get more cute but weird stuff, right? Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. So I did opt for the premium toolkit and it comes with one of her trays so I was able to cop another tray so I worked with that with my diamond painting I love that it all matches it makes it fun I love when my accessories match it makes it fun and um, satisfying to work on the painting so yes guys this is why always the cows from Uni May and cute but weird all right so I got you guys closer to the canvas I wanted to take a little closer look at the drills and the painting so look at the little cow I think it's so cute it was really satisfying to work on this diamond painting I'm telling you what and then the glow-in-the-dark drills sprinkled throughout and then here's that UFO with the little addition of the ABs and then you have that night sky with like the little stars sprinkled through I think that's cute as well I, I love taking a closer look at diamond paintings. So I thought this would be a nice little addition to the video so you guys can kind of see up close. Love it. And then I love the, this washi tape. This washi tape came with the painting and I thought it went so well. So I'm like, why not? So yes, guys, that is a close up of the diamond painting. We are going to get into the drill. So after I finish a diamond painting, I normally just put the drills away like this. So I have tons of drills left over. Like I said, the drills were good quality. I was really impressed with this kit. Um, here are the two glow in the darks. The two glow in the darks, so cute. And then where's that 5200 AB? This is a regular 5200. Oh. Here's the 5200, that white AB. So yeah, I had tons of drills left over, no issues. There wasn't a lot of trash either. I did not have a lot of trash. So I'm like, oh, okay, I can do this. So this was my first kit, the only one I own. So yes, I am looking forward to going to her shop and um, looking to see what else she has because I am gonna order some more diamond paintings, definitely. I did see that there's a new release coming and I love it. So I'm going to try to get my hands on that one as well. So yes, guys, those are the drills. You know, I get sidetracked. Look at those glow in the dark. So, so pretty. I'll try to make this canvas glow in the dark. Sometimes I'm successful at it. Sometimes I'm not. But look at those glow in the dark drills. Aren't they so cute? And then, like I said, the white AD. So yeah guys, that is the canvas for you guys. I was so excited to complete this and work it up. Let me know if you have any Muni made diamond paintings and if you have ever and if you've ever completed one. So yes, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you love diamond painting, crafting, and all things hobbies, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with a friend. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.